Good news tonight, an update on the man who drove off I-94 in Northwest Indiana and survived six days trapped in his crumpled truck. 27 year old Matt Ream still has a long road to recovery, but is no longer in critical condition. Only on two tonight, I spoke with the 911 dispatcher who took the call from the fisherman who found him and jump started the rescue effort. 911, what's the exact location of your emergency? This one definitely ranks up there as one of the most memorable. Jeremy uh, Nemeth has been a dispatcher in Porter County for 11 years. He's underneath the bridge. But he's never had a 911 call quite like the one he got Tuesday afternoon. There's a car that's been here since Wednesday, and there's a person inside of it. He's, he's still alive, too. It's not uncommon to hear some really strange stories throughout uh, your career in the 911 center, but uh, when he said he'd been underneath that bridge for six days that really kind of took me back and um, shocked me that that was the case um, and I was amazed that he was still alive. Nemeth couldn't believe what he was hearing. Nobody normally fishes about this time. He has high praise for the two fishermen who made that call for help. That's crazy. I came down here to check for fishing and he's down here in the car. He did phenomenal. They, they both did phenomenal. Um, they were, I, we like to call them gold star callers because they were, they were calm. Um, they weren't yelling. He's going to have to go turn around. They were very calm and was giving me information and was telling me everything that we needed to know. Nemeth was on the line with the fishermen almost nine minutes until first responders arrived. He might have other injuries. Okay, okay. All the while coordinating all the different jurisdictions involved, even the medical helicopter. Um, I worked with some amazing people and we were all teamed up together to ensure that all the information was passed to everybody. All the coordinating agencies were getting the information and we're able to accomplish it. We've got some of our local officers in addition to state troopers coming along with our fire and EMS. We were all just flabbergasted and just taken aback by it. Um, we all kind of took that breath going, wow. We all know how stressful a dispatcher's job can be. All right, they're here. They never know what's coming with each call, but the end result with this one is something Nemeth will remember for a long time. Anytime that there's a positive outcome to these calls, it, it just, it makes everybody feel great that we were able to accomplish something great and help somebody and get them the help that they need. They're on the way, buddy. They're on the way. I'm thankful for, you know, my coworkers who all helped us out. Thankful for the caller who, you know, decided to go look for that fishing hole um, to get them that help. Anytime that we can help somebody, it, it, it makes you feel good. It makes the job worth it. All right. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Nemeth was glad to hear Reem was doing better today, and he's sending his best, he said, for a speedy recovery. We also talked today with other first responders who filled us in on the chaos and conditions they encountered while trying to free Reem from his vehicle. There was a drain pipe right above him, so there was rainwater coming down when it rained, and he would use his shirt to filter it while he drank it. And then he also used the airbags that had deployed as blankets when he would get cold to stay warm and just try and stay alive. Rescuers also said one thing they'll remember most, Reem's repeated requests for a Big Mac. Friends have also started an online fundraiser. It's up over $62,000 as people around the country hear about his fascinating story.